the GFB and R34 R34 Skyline GTR, GTR V-Spec and GTR V-Spec N1 models were introduced in January 1999. The R34 GTR was shorter from front to rear, and the front overhang was reduced as compared to its predecessor. The valve covers were painted glossy red color code cherry red effect Z24 or X1020, as opposed to black in previous models. A new feature on the R34 GTR is a 5. 8 inches LCD multifunction display on the center of the dashboard, which shows seven different live readings of engine and vehicle statistics such as turbocharger pressure 1, 2 bar max, oil and water temperature, among others. The GTR V-Spec model added two extra features to the display, intake and exhaust gas temperatures. Nisma multifunction displays MFD could be bought at an extra cost, they included a lap timer, G-force meter and an increase in boost pressure measurement to 2 bar, the R34 GTR was made shorter in response to customer concerns who thought the R33 was too bulky. Like the R33, the new R34 GTR V-Spec Victory specification models come equipped with the Atessa ETS Pro system and an active LSD at the rear, while standard GTR models come with a non-pro system and a conventional mechanical differential. The V-Spec model also had firmer suspension and lower ground clearance thanks to front and side splitters, as well as a rear carbon fiber air diffuser, designed to keep air flowing smoothly under the car. At the time of the R34's introduction, like the R32 and R33, Nissan introduced an R34 V-Spec N1 model. The R34 V-Spec N1 was equipped similar to the R32 and R33 N1 models a homologation special. It was sold without air conditioning, audio equipment, rear wiper, or boot lining, but ABS remained. The new R34N1 was also given the new R34N1 engine. Only 38 known R34 V-Spec N1 models were produced from the factory, 12 of which Nismo used for Super Taikyu racing. The rest were sold to various customers, mostly racing teams and tuning garages. The V-Spec version was also imported into the UK with a number of modifications carried out on these 80 cars. These included three additional oil coolers, revised ECU map, full Connolly leather interior, underbody diffusers, stiffer suspension, active rear limited slip differential, extra display feature on the in-car display. In addition to the UK, 10 were sold to Hong Kong and Singapore, and 5 to New Zealand although with different changes for their respective markets. In October 2000, Nissan introduced the V-Spec 2, replacing the V-Spec. The V-Spec 2 has increased stiffness in the suspension even stiffer than the original V-Spec and had larger rear brake rotors. It also comes equipped with a carbon fiber bonnet equipped with a NACA duct, which is lighter than the aluminium that all other GTR bonnets are made from. Also different on the V-Spec 2 was an iridium center console and aluminium pedals. The seats were upholstered with black cloth rather than the gray cloth used on previous R34 GTR models, and the amber turn lenses were replaced with white versions. With the exception of the carbon fiber bonnet, the standard trim level GTR also received these updates. A total of 18 V-Spec 2 and 1 were built. A total of 1855 V-Spec 2 were built for Japan, with an additional 2 being sold for the New Zealand market. The V-Spec N1 was replaced with the V-Spec 2 N1. The same changes applied to the V-Spec N1 were applied to the V-Spec 2 N1, with the exception of the V-Spec 2 carbon bonnet which was now unpainted. In May 2001, the M-Spec was introduced. It was based on the V-Spec 2 but had special ripple control dampers, revised suspension setup, stiffer rear sway bar and a leather interior with heated front seats. The M on the M spec stood for Mizuno who is the chief engineer of Nissan. The only other change was the removal of the carbon fiber bonnet which was replaced with the standard aluminium bonnet. In February 2002, Nissan launched a final production model of the R34 GTR called the Skyline GTR V-Spec 2 Nua and the Skyline GTR M spec Nua which were based on the V-Spec 2 N1. The NUA was named after the famous German Nürburgring racetrack, where the Skyline was developed. In total, 1,003 units of the R34 GTR NUA were produced. 718 were V-Spec 2 Nurse and 285 were M-Spec Nurse. The NUA model featured an improved RB26 debt based on the N1 racing engine. The standard turbochargers were upgraded to larger versions with a slight increase in boost and the ceramic blades were replaced with steel versions. This has increased lag, but the turbo's durability was improved while being able to handle a bigger boost increase. The V-Spec 2 NUA is based on the regular V-Spec 2 model, and the M-Spec NUA was based on the regular M-Spec model.
Other than the addition of the new engine, the newer models also included a different color of stitching on the interior trim, as well as a speedometer reading up to 300 km height 186 miles per hour, gold valve covers instead of red and a gold VIN plate instead of silver. Due to Japanese car industry norms at the time, the car was advertised as having 206 kW 280 PS 276 horsepower but it actually had over 246 kW 334 PS 330 horsepower when it left the factory. In 1999, during Nissan's testing session at the Nürburgring Nord Ski Life, the car set an unofficial lap time of 7.52 minutes around the track, driven by Nissan's test driver Kazuo Shimizu, the car broke the Skyline GTR R33's record, which was the fastest production vehicle around the track.